The gun debate rages across this country, including right here in Colorado. A federal judge recently blocked an ordinance from taking place in the town of Superior, which would have put restrictions on high-powered guns. Superior's ordinance passed in June. It would prohibit assault weapons, large capacity magazines, and rapid fire trigger activators like bump stocks. And while it may seem small, the federal ruling could have an impact on similar laws already in place in our state. Here is Denver 7's Megan Lopez. Last year, legislators here at the state capitol passed a law that allowed for local control when it comes to firearms. That allowed localities like cities and counties to pass their own more restrictive gun laws. They couldn't be less restrictive. But now between the Supreme Court ruling and a lawsuit playing out here in Colorado, some of those local ordinances could come into question and even some state laws. It took a tragedy for Colorado lawmakers to try a different approach to gun reforms. Among the changes, a law to allow local governments to pass their own gun restrictions. In June, Superior did just that, banning assault weapons in large capacity magazines, among other things, something. We're going after their assault weapons ban and their um, uh, standard capacity magazine ban. Rocky Mountain gun owners took aim at with a federal lawsuit. Now a judge has temporarily blocked the new gun ordinances. So we knew that, that this was these these uh, ordinances that they passed were un unconstitutional. This decision comes in the wake of another, a Supreme Court ruling that struck down a New York gun law and could affect this Colorado case. I think they have a good chance. Constitutional law professor David Copel says the decision comes down to history. It bans on particular types of arms, or, or magazines really have no basis in American history. So if this lawsuit is successful, it could put other local gun laws and possibly even state laws in jeopardy. The bottom line is the, the state and local laws, to the extent that they are regulatory about how you exercise the right, those have the better chance of being upheld compared to the laws that are prohibitory. Senate President Steve Fenberg was a co-sponsor of the local control law. The town of Superior, like many other cities and towns across America and definitely across Colorado, just want to pass common sense laws. He's disappointed in the temporary restraining order, but says they're not going to stop trying. Whatever it is going to take, my party and as long as I'm in the legislature, we are going to continue to investigate and explore ways to keep people safe. The judge did deny part of the lawsuit that banned open carry in Superior, which gave Fenberg hope. But with the Supreme Court decision in mind, Rocky Mountain gun owner says they're confident these laws will be overturned and they're getting ready to sue other cities. Colorado would, would be a very different, is going to be a very different place for gun laws in two years. The next hearing for the Superior lawsuit is August 4th. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And Superior is just one front range city putting ordinances like this in place. Several others involved Boulder County have also passed similar measures. Boulder, Louisville, Lafayette implemented new gun ordinances in recent months. Boulder County commissioners have also taken first steps toward new restrictions there. Now, county restrictions would go a step further. They would include both open and concealed carry bans in many public places.